Hi, first graders. Are you ready to learn a new math game? This one is called One Two Nim. It is one of my favorite math games because it's really fun, but it's really easy to learn. The more you play this game, the better you're going to get. At first, it might seem like there's not that much to do, but if you play a lot, you are going to figure out strategies and you're going to figure out ways to win. To play this game, you need two things. You need a pile of objects and it could really be anything. I have these counters that we use in class and I'm gonna use these when I play today. But you could use coins, paper clips, beans, anything you have around the house. The other thing you need to play this game is a partner. I invited my friend to come play with me today. This is my partner, Steven. You've heard about him. And he is going to show us, help us um, see how to play this game. All right, let's get started. All right, so here we are with our pile of counters. Now, when you play one, two, nim, you get to decide how many counters or how many objects you start with in the pile. I think for our first game, we are going to use eight counters. So I'm gonna count out eight, two, four, six, eight and I'll put the other ones to the side. The only rule in one, two, nim is that when it's your turn, you can take one object or you can take two. The person who takes the very last object wins the game. So Stephen and I are going to play once and you will see what it looks like. So I'm gonna go first, and I'm not really sure what my strategy is yet. Um, so I'm gonna take one counter to start with. I'm gonna take one, two. Okay. So now I have to think in my brain, do I want to take one counter this time, or should I take two? Hmm, this time I think I'm gonna take two. I'm going to take one again. Okay, so I know that I want to take the very last one if I'm going to win. So I have to think, if I take two, what will happen? If I take these two, there's only going to be one left and Steven is going to take it and he'll win the game. But what will happen if I take one? Well, I guess I'll try it. Can I take two? You can, you can take one or two. And win the game? Yes. Woohoo! So Steven got the last one and that means that he won the game. Let's play one more time. So this time, when I start, last time I took one. I wonder what would happen if I start the game by playing, by taking two. I'm going to take two this time. I'll just take one. Hmm. Last time I took two, the second time. I think I'm going to take two again this time. I'm going to take just one, but I think I'm about to lose. Oh boy, there are two left. I get to take them both. And that means that this time I won the game. First Good graders, job. thank you. How did Steven win the first time? And how did I win the second time? When you play this game with someone at home, I want you to begin to think, what are the best moves that I can make to win the game? And the next time that Steven and I play, 
we might say instead of starting with eight, maybe we should start with 12. And so we can put a few more counters in there and we can begin with another number. But every time you play, I want you to think, what is the strategy that is going to work best for you? All right, let me know how it goes. I'm really excited to hear. Bye.